Hi guys, welcome to Going Back in Time Gaming, and today we're playing Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy. As you can see, that does say 100%, that's because I have played this game many times before, but I now want to share it with you guys. Now, I believe this is part of the set that I got a few years ago. They re-released it um, on PS3, but the this first game was released on December the 3rd, 2001, which makes it 15 years old at the moment, which makes me feel old at 23. But here we go, one of my personal favourites for funniest character of all time, with his partner in crime, and quite possibly the greatest developer of all time, in my opinion. Right guys, here we are in Geyser Rock. This is the first bit of gameplay that you will come into contact with. I skipped the intro because it just started to turn into a pause fest because I just couldn't skip it and it is quite long. But basically, you get an idea of what's going to happen in the game. You get sent here by the sage um, and there you see Daxter on Jack's shoulders. Um, he fell into a pit of ooze at Misty Island which is now why he's the lovely Otsal you see on the shoulders. Oh, they're going to perform a magic trick for you now. Um, so yeah. Let's get started. So I believe in this area we need to get 4 power cells and 50 precursor orbs. Um, power cells are one of the main things that are going to get us going forward in the game and unlocking new areas. Precursor orbs are another source of collectible, but I'll explain that in a minute. These floating egg shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Or you could just do my job for me. Thank you very much. Now there you'll see a power cell. This is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. There really is just no point in me being here, is there? Those dance moves, by the way, I think are quality. I used to love doing those when I was a kid, just in turn. Yes, I would love to auto save. Thank you very much. I, I used to love doing those little dance moves. There's one in particular that's my favourite, which I'll point out when we get to it in the game. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it. These are scout flies. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I give up. Seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Basically, there's seven of these in a level, and you need to get all seven to get a power cell, which hopefully we'll get right here. Yeah. Maybe not that dance wow! move. That last scout boy had a power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. So basically, Sonic the Hedgehog, man. There is some orbs down here. I used to miss these quite a lot. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. I have to admit, I'm a perfectionist. I do like to try and max out and get the maximum amount of everything in that area, whether it's the 50 precursor orbs and four power cells, or whether it was just all the gems. I used to play Spyro and all the boxes in Crash. I used to hate leaving them. Behind. High five. I do apologise for all these pauses, but as with any other training level, they want to tell you everything. Where to go, what to do, how to do it. In this case, we need Blue Eco to get through the door. We need some of that Sonic stuff. Blue Eco. That's a Blue Eco vent! More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Well, that's just brilliant. Yeah. Good 
work. The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. <laughs> Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. I think I prefer the big ones, to be honest with you, because... I wouldn't. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go, 50 out of 50. And this should be the final Bowser. Yeah, you show that strength. So let's go back through the warp gate and see what the old sage has got to say to us this time. It's hopefully going to send us off on our adventures and we'll pick our first level. Training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, yes, we are. fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged. Wonder up how there. they got there. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Strange. Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you. Get out. Get out of here. Sir, yes, sir. Right, so here we go. Let's get on our adventures. So I've got to show you a couple of things quickly. Firstly where we're going so I think over there that's Misty Island that's where Daxter fell into the pot of ooze well cavern of ooze whatever you want to call it that's one of our levels over there that's the beach we'll be heading there soon but our first we're going over in that direction that is the forbidden jungle so I'm gonna head there first so basically in each this is Sandover village you've got a village in each area and you've got about two or three levels in each, surrounding each village um, I think each village holds about you can get about four to six I think power cells um, and 50 orbs um, and each main level has about seven power cells the orb 200 orbs and seven scout flies so we're gonna head to the forbidden jungle what's she looking at Keep an eye on a bird. Strange. These little animals we're gonna have to push in that pen layer for a power cell. What's funny to me is, and hopefully if this is received well, I, I probably will do a let's play of Jack 2 and Jack 3, but what I find hilarious is like, well not hilarious, but how hard the power, uh, the precursor orbs are to find on Jack 2 and 3, compared to they're just easy to pick up here. I mean on those two games it's ridiculous, like the challenges and tribulations you have to go through to get them. But that's for another day, we're on Jack 1. So. Here we go guys, this is the Forbidden Jungle. I'm going to wrap up part one here and we'll pick this up in part two. So thanks for checking it out and I'll catch you later.